G'day there everyone, Daniel Anderson here. Now task management is always a contentious topic with so many different options in Microsoft 365. Now with the introduction of Microsoft Loop, we now have another way in which we can add a task list uh, to a location and assign uh, work items to certain people. So in today's video, what we're gonna take a look at is the Microsoft uh, Loop task uh, component and how that operates and integrates across the Microsoft 365 platform. So let's set the scene first. We've got a Microsoft Loop workspace already created for us. It is called Mastering Microsoft Loop. We've got a single page that we've already created and it's based off the project planning template. Now the first thing that we're going to do, and this, is, uh, this will uh, be evident a little bit later, is just rename this page. So we're going to select this page and we're going to rename this to, um, to a, a more meaningful name. So I am going to call this Microsoft Loop uh, Course uh, project planning. So that's going to be the new name of our page. We're going to update that and we're now got uh, a different page name to that of the template that we first created. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a couple of people to this uh, workspace. So first thing, let's get Megan in here. We'll also get Nestor in here as well. Uh, and then we'll also add one more person and we'll add Adele in as well. So now we're going to invite these people into this workspace where we can start to plan out this course. All right, so those invites are now being sent um, and we are now good to go. Now we've got this page started from a template. It's got a really good structure for us. Now I've got a, a title here. Now this is where I'm going to add the task, the loop task component. So to add a loop task component, we hit the forward slash, and then under templates, we've got this option here called task list. So when we add this task list to a, uh, a page, you can see here that we've got a column for task, we've got it for a, a column for assigned to, and then also a due date, all right? So fairly common type of, of um, scenario there. So let's go about now adding a task, and there, or adding a couple of tasks, and assigning it to different people and see what that experience is like and where those tasks actually end up. So let's add a few tasks. So the first one is going to be um, define the course topic and learning objectives. The next one will be uh, research and gather the content. We'll just add a couple more. We'll then add a task. We'll call this one choose the platform. We'll develop the course content next after we've chosen our platform. Uh, what will we do next? We will then create the course assets. So we'll add another task like this. We'll add another task to produce and edit the video content. And we'll just leave it at that. Now, let's go ahead and assign uh, these tasks to certain people. So we'll assign this one to Megan. We'll assign this one to Adele. We'll assign this one back to Megan. And Megan can have this one. Nesta can create all the course assets and he can also produce and edit the video content, all right? Now, we'll go ahead and set some due dates, all right? So let's uh, have this one. We'll just set the um, at some random dates here, maybe a couple of weeks apart. So that one's there, we'll go that one and we'll set the last two and we'll choose, let's enter into May and then we'll just add one more which can be this date here. So now we've got our due dates, we've got our assigned um, two uh, column filled out and we've also got our, our task items there. Now, where does this actually go? Is this just a component in itself on this page? Does it integrate anywhere else? Let's have a look. So I'm going to, um, first of all, bring Megan's um, environment in over here. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is we've also got Planner and Microsoft to do, haven't we? So for task management. So let's jump into Microsoft Teams and I'm gonna to jump to tasks by planner and to do because what actually happens when we're doing and creating these task lists, it actually creates uh, and integrates in with Microsoft Planner, all right? So 
if we jump up to planner and I'm just going to refresh this page, you can see that I've got this pinned plan here called brainstorming and it's got a Microsoft Loop logo to it. So I am going to, first of all, under here, I'm going to go to um, show all. All right, so you can see here that we've got our um, all of our other plans that we've uh, that we've been involved in uh, with our teams or our projects, and you can see that we're now seeing some Microsoft Loop plans as well. One of those plans here is our Microsoft Loop course project plan. So let's actually pin that up the top here. Now you can see that we've got a tiled experience up here where we can pin our planner plans. Um, and this one here is just acting like that. So if I hit, uh, open up this, we can see that I've got Microsoft Loop up here in the top. I've got the members of the Loop workspace, which are represented here. And you can see in this task bucket that these are the tasks that I've actually just created inside of our loop component, all right? So if I just drag this back across, now you can see this yellow button uh, bar here. I'm just going to click this sync now uh, option there, and that should now sync everything up together. So what we can uh, then do is that means that we interact and we, we can use different endpoints to uh, interact with our task list. Now, if I drag Megan's um, environment back across over here, let's just give this a bit of a refresh as well. And you can see at the top that we've got our uh, our loop name or our loop work our loop pages name. We've got it. It is a linked plan. We can use our charts, our schedule, our grid, everything that we normally would. Okay. And you can see down the bottom here that these are also coming in as notifications into Outlook. So if I assign a task inside of a loop works space in a task list component, it will notify that person that you assign a task to. All right. Now we can see here, now I'm logged in as Megan. Let's open up this task here. You can see that it's telling me where it's coming from. Now let's actually go ahead and complete this task. So I'm going to complete this. Um, now let's have a look at what happens to the task list in the loop workspace or and on the loop page. You can see that that task has actually been updated. All right, so it's a two-way integration here. So we've got the ability to create our tasks in um, Microsoft Loop and also then inter uh, interact with that inside of Planner. Now that also comes across obviously into uh, tasks for Planner uh, inside of Microsoft Teams, okay? So if I bring again Megan's environment back over here, and let me just refresh this because I'm in the browser here. So I'll just refresh uh, the Microsoft Teams instance and let's have a look at the tasks um, the tasks app inside of, of Teams here. So we can see here that under assigned to me, I've got the source as Microsoft Loop project planning. Here's our, platform, uh, here's our task called choose platform and here's another task, develop the course content. So that's coming across into here too. So let's now tick this off and complete choose a platform inside of Microsoft Teams. Then what we'll do is we'll come back over here and once that syncs and once that catches up, that will also then um, mark this item off uh, as completed inside of this Microsoft Loop workspace as well. So we can see there that that has now been ticked off and marked and completed. All right, so now we've got this uh, this experience where we can manage our tasks across different endpoints, whether that's planner, whether that is uh, the, the loop page that we're on, or whether it's inside of Teams. Now, obviously as well, inside of Microsoft To Do, uh, we've got that option for assigned to me as well. So you can see here that we've got uh, our, uh, assigned to me um, flagged items here. And this one here, develop course content. This one, you can see the source is coming from the Microsoft Loop course project plan. All right, so we can open that up. 
there it is there. We can open it inside uh, if we wanted to as well, or we can tick that off and we're now completed. That will then sync and flow all the way through back to the experience inside here of um, of uh, Microsoft Loop, okay? Now, there are a couple of nuances here. So let's say we want to open up Planner. So I'll bring back um, Megan's environment here. So let's open up this uh, Planner plan here. So you can see this is where we're at. Uh, let's just give this a refresh and that will give us the updated. You can see that we've got three completed tasks. What if we create a new bucket, all right? What happens? Does that create a new task list inside of that loop component or that loop page? Let's have a look. So task, um, let's go for uh, information architecture, all right? So we'll create a bucket here. Let's add a task for uh, gather IA. We'll set a due date of tomorrow. We'll assign it to uh, Alex and we'll add that task in there. So we've created a new bucket now and created a new task and assigned it to somebody. But what doesn't happen is we don't get that inside of this task list here. Okay, so what is uh, what is happening or it doesn't either create a new task list or anything like that. All right, so how do we go about maybe creating additional buckets inside of our planner plan and then have that associated here? Well, what we can do is we could add an additional task list here. All right, so let's call this one, we're developing our course, let's call this one um, creating content. All right, so let's go task list and we want a, an additional uh, list of tasks just for um, gathering, let's go gathering, um, gathering content. <clears throat> All right, so gathering content and we'll create uh, this task list here. All right, so now we've got this. So let's go um, research as a task. Let's just assign that to Megan, right? So we'll just do one task and then we'll give that a due date of next of the sixth and then we are now good to go. So we've now got two task lists here, but you can see that information architecture bucket doesn't actually flow into here, nor does that task. Okay, so if I bring Megan's back across, what we're now going to see is because I've just created another task list component, you can see that I've got tasks, which is that original task uh, up the top here. I've got, I don't have the, well, I do have the information architecture bucket, but that was created inside a planner. So that means that we don't have, we don't see that inside of Microsoft Loop. Okay, but what we now have is another bucket here called tasks. Now you'll notice that it's a generic tasks name. It's not named gathering um, gathering content. So what we would need to do is just so that we um, keep that, uh, I guess the user experience the same, what we would do is name this, what we could do is name this bucket gathering content. All right, gathering content like so. And then that would then marry up with what is there on the loop page, okay? So what we might do is just delete this um, like, like so. And now we've got our two task components inside of Microsoft Loop and also our two buckets inside of Planner. Now where this gets even better is we can create a loop component just of this task list, for example, all right? So let's say we wanted to share just this task list, all right? We might want to post it in a, in a, in a Teams conversation or in, a, in an email, all right? So let's grab this task list. So what we're going to do is we are going to click these nine little dots. We can see that we can create a loop component just of this list. We can also open it in Planner. So I'm gonna create a component of this task list, all right? So it's creating it and it's getting itself ready. And we now have um, a loop component or just of this task list like so, all right? So what we could now do is actually actually just, let me just give this a refresh. We could just grab this component now and we could pour, uh, you know, extract that from our page and then insert that into somewhere else and some other endpoint. So it could be a Teams chat. So let's scroll down here. 
Um, we've got this component. Let's grab and copy this component. We'll open up uh, a Teams chat. So we've got a Teams chat up here. So let's just copy this like that. And then what we will do also do is we've got a chat with Megan. Let's now paste that component inside of our chat. And you'll see that it just extracts that, that task list table. And then I can send that as just as a component across to Megan there. Uh, and now we've got, um, uh, an instance of that just in there. We can do the same thing obviously inside of an email, in the body of an email. So we're kind of meeting the people where they choose to work and we can all interact with our task list regardless of where they are. All right, so that's where we're gonna leave it for today. Task management inside of Microsoft Loop integrates in with Microsoft Planner. And the great thing about that is if for users that are using Planner, you can see that we can have, if we go to our hub, we, we can have all of uh, everything that we need um, from a Planner side, adding our, uh, adding our, our cards, adding our um, tasks and everything like that from lots of different endpoints. So I hope that brings you some value today. Another, ta another way to manage your tasks when you're running projects or other units of work, but it does integrate across a couple of different endpoints and adds a little bit more functionality for you as well. So once again, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.